This week, I'm in Cologne, Germany. While I'm here, I'm going to see what's happening at the Dome, the Rhine, and if there's time, I might even have a beer or two. I'm also going to spend the day working with Elmar and his team of crazy barbers at the Gentleman Barber Clubs. We only do classic haircuts. Yeah. Different styles, but classic. You can cut a classic haircut, and when you want to be crazy on Friday night, you can do it like this with the style, with the styling product, yeah? But if you cut it crazy, you can't style it classic. And that's the that's most important thing, when you're a crazy guy, but you have a job where you have to be classy. <laughs> I think we have to drink a Jägermeister. Back in 2008, I opened the first head shop barber shop in St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada. As a master barber, I take great pride in my profession. As a craftsman, I have a good sense of the kind of service most men seek, at least in my hometown. Now I'm curious to explore and see what's happening in different barber shops around the world. I want to see the kind of styles and service men demand in their grooming and fashion in different countries around the globe. My name's Cedric Small, and I'm the Global Barber. Three years ago, yeah, exactly three years, May. Did you start by yourself or did you have a big crew or did you move from somewhere else? No, I started with myself and um, two months later Felix comes and every few months there was a new barber here. So now we are two, with six people here, yeah. five barbers and one, uh, one Kevin. Yeah. He's our back office Kevin and uh, he do the stuff around us, yeah. And yeah, five barbers. And you're busy all the time? Yeah, most times. Um, when you want to have an appointment, you have to wait two to six weeks. When you're flexible, you can come with your beard in the midday. One week to two weeks, you have to wait. Um, when you want to have a haircut and a beard, and you only come in the evening, you only can come in the evening, we have to wait three to five years. Uh, yes, weeks. Sorry. Yes, yeah. yes was five years. Yeah. Five, 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 five years would be awesome. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little drunk. <laughs> like you. Yeah. <laughs> and whereabouts did you come from, Felix? Uh, I come from Gummersbach. It's near to uh, Cologne. Yeah. And um, Emma mm, sent me a message on Facebook, I think so. Yeah, I wrote hi. Uh, he wrote hi. I want to. Uh, and he said yes. I want to start a business with a barber shop. Yeah. I said, mm, okay, why? <laughs> like this. And um, but after a few, a few weeks, he wrote me again, and it we met us. Uh, yeah. Bigger and more interesting. So I moved here. We built it up together. Yeah. A lot of work. Yeah. Hard times. A lot of alcohol. A lot, a lot of, of cigarettes. cigarettes, yeah. Yeah, and a lot of sleepless nights. Yeah. Did you build the shop yourself? Design it, build it? Yeah, I designed it myself. I bought anything um, on, on eBay and um, local shops, markets, yeah. yeah. And um, I, I don't know that I have a feeling for uh, for this, but it was a lucky punch, I think so. Yeah, it was amazing. It fits, yeah. Yeah. How long have you been in the barber? How long have you been doing it? 
So, um, yeah, we all are hairdressers. Yeah. yeah but um, I start my hairdresser uh, time in 2004. And the last five to six years I start barbering. And yeah, the last three years in my own shop, yeah. What made you, uh, <laughs> what made you get into being a barber? What, what was the... So, um, I had one big dream um, because man was only the second part in a hairdresser, in a normal hairdresser saloon. And I want to make a place where man comes in first. And man was always cheap and bring your man because, your, because maybe his wife comes later for expensive hair colors and like this. And um, I wanted to create a place where everybody's equal, if he's poor or rich or small or tall, black or white, doesn't matter. Everybody here is equal and this place I want to create. And you, Felix? I started 14 years ago. Uh, I learned at a um, saloon where the boss was um, world champion of hairdressing in man style. Mm -hmm. It was very hard. Then I thought that it's more interesting to do man hair. It's more difficult, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, every mistake will be seen on, on the streets from, from other uh, people. And in long hair you can hide it. Yeah. If you do a mistake. In short hair it's not possible. So it was more interesting for me because it's what, uh, it was more difficult. So I only uh, did man hair. How many barbers do you have working here? Are they, are they just men or do you have any women? No, women, no, no. women no. aren't allowed. No, no barber, barbarellas, no, no clients who are women. No waiting women here? No waiting women, she can wait outside. Yeah. Give them beer or coffee, but she has to wait outside. Because pe men talk about other things when women are not in the room, in the same room. Yeah. Men talk. Yeah. Cars. Like girl evening Girls. for men. Yeah. Yeah. Football, soccer. Beer, beer, yeah. beer. Beer. And beer. It's about five barbershops in Cologne. Yeah. 1.2 million people are living here. Yeah. So every barbershop is pretty busy. Yeah, every barbershop. But that's good because yeah. um, we, uh, we help each other because um, hairdressers have some problems with each other. I don't know why. But barbers are cool. They they like not each jealous, other. Not yeah, not they are not jealous. Because every, everybody's busy. Yeah. So you don't have to be uh, jealous. Yeah. It's more easy. We can. And we like each together, other. We can drink together. Uh, we meet. To and we do it. Yeah. yeah. It's like a community. Yeah. Here in Germany, it's a very nice community. A small, but there is a community. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody hangs out. All the barbers get together and hang out. Yeah. Yeah.
Where did you get the barbers? How did you meet them? Oh, crazy stories behind. Uh, is that the right word? Um, yeah. Crazy stories. Um, Johnny, we found him on Facebook. Yeah. Pretty nice guy. And what? And what's his? Uh, what's he like with his cut? What's his? Uh, how would you say that? Style. Style? Yeah, his style. What, He's a skater what? boy. Yeah. Yeah. He He's only does classic haircuts. Oh yeah. 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 Skater boy and he do that's so so crazy. Skater boy style and classic haircuts. Yeah, sometimes he looks like a homeless. Yeah. In the morning he comes here and says, "Is it you or is it, is it yeah?" But your homeless brother. Yeah. But it's style. Yeah. It's nice. But he do only only classic haircuts. Yeah. Longer. Longer hair. Longer hair. We both uh, do more skin paints. Yeah. Chico. To everything. Chris is a skin fader too. Yeah. Very short, uh, short hair on the side and short beards. Also skin fade in the beards too. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, the, the, the good thing is not everybody have the same style, and you can um, get other clients. So you don't have only rockabillies or um, skin faders. You have. Thousands uh, of styles, barber. and everybody can come in and uh, have this barber for his style. But with uh, one thing that we only do classic haircuts. Yeah. Different styles, but classic. Yeah. So you won't get a, a side cut, undercut. Undercut, horrible. Uh, stuff like this no. isn't working yet. If you want to have this, you have to pay twice. If you really want it. Yeah. But most times you say, sorry, not the right job. But we tell the clients where they can go to get this. Because we know the other barber shops and we know uh, what they do. Yeah. When it comes to barbering, like, what's your philosophy behind it? That we don't want to have clients. We want to have friends. Yeah. So everybody has to give a handshake to the wait clients. <laughs> yeah. If he comes in. Yeah. Um, so we become a group. And it's very very nice. Yeah. We connect. We connect them to each other. They found new jobs. Thirty jobs in that three years. Yeah. The paid jobs. Yeah. Oh good. And, and nice connections. So it's easier to talk to each other um, when you give a handshake at first when you come in. And there was a client who said, I don't want to give everybody a handshake. I said, okay, then you have to leave. Uh, Why? I'm a client, I'm only here for, a hair, for, the, for my hair. Yeah, then you're in the wrong shop. You have to, you have to laugh to come here, yeah. because then we can laugh to have you here. And um, it's that's a difference. It's, it's about, about respect. respect. Yeah. yeah. And that's a difference between other, bar other barber shops and us, because um, Everybody tell it, yeah, we want to have friends, but we really want to have friends because we have less. <laughs> <laughs> we have to have. We new. have to have new friends because we are so crazy, everybody hates us. <laughs> no, I think that's, that's the most important thing. Yeah, here. really. So we can drink together, we can eat together, we can go out together. We're like a family. And we go out with our clients. Yeah, yeah. A, lot, a lot of the, the times. Max is a, good, is, is a good friend because at first he was a client. Yeah, he's yeah. standing outside, you have to say. Yeah. <laughs> he's standing outside, yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. yeah. Couldn't he's hear us. through the window. <laughs> Hi, Max. <laughs> window man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. I think for tonight, yeah. Ah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and Kevin, too. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> so I think um, the, only, uh, the next important thing is everybody's equal, we talked about. And um, good haircuts. Good haircuts, no women. Beer, cigarettes, good talk, talks to each other. Yeah. Good, good place time. for men to hang out. Yeah. Be men. Yeah. You don't need Be much for a good place, I think. So alcohol, cigarettes, good talks to each other. That's enough for a man to feel good. Yeah. To stay here. Clients come earlier and stay longer. You saw it today. Yeah. yeah. So Same. every client has to do 20 push-ups for every minute too late. Yeah. It's not a joke. We have cards for our appointments and it's written there too. Uh, when you don't cancel your appointment before, 24 hours before, you have to pay the whole, uh, what's the name? The 
whole fee. The whole service. The whole service, yeah, you have to pay the whole service. And everybody has to do the push-ups. If you can't or you don't want, you, have, you can buy a bottle of whiskey or rum or whatever for every 100 push-ups you have to, have to do. And that's why we have so much alcohol here. here yeah. Good and bad and... Very good, very bad. Very, very bad. <laughs> Back. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, everybody um, is safe. So I noticed you guys were using powder when you were shaving, like a, what's the purpose for that? So it's only me here, yeah. the other guys do it with, uh, do it classic. So far. So, yeah. But I think uh, the hairs here, you can connect it to the, be to the beard hair and um, I think you can make a better line in the, in the beard. Uh. And I think it's much better for the client too because it feels very smooth during all the time, doing the work. But you have to say that Emma is uh, in love with... I love powder, powder. what the f Everybody uh, hate me because the whole shop is with dust. powder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The dust He's the dustman. Yeah, I'm the dustman. Yeah. I'm very sorry for that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and he does everything with this powder. Yeah, sex, <laughs> <laughs> drinking and working. Do people prefer to take appointments or they prefer to walk in? We only work with appointments. Yeah. And people who prefer walk-ins aren't our clients. Yeah. We need a lot of time to do a nice haircut, to do a nice beard. And so nobody wants to wait to... six hours to, yeah. to, so we have to get a haircut. Plan. We have to plan it. So uh, the last three and a half years told us that's the right way. Walk-ins. Yeah. Are the right way for, for us. For us. For us. Other barbershops maybe it, it works, but it doesn't work here. And we have been fully booked all the time. Yeah. Three and a half years? Yeah. Without any space left. But we had to find new barbers because the appointments exploded. Sometimes it's bad for us when we had a holiday planning and clients do appointments for the whole year. So I want to come every first Friday in a month and he had next seven or last seven months in the year appointment every Friday. And then anybody comes to say, I want to uh, make holiday uh, in three months. <laughs> you have to call the guy and say, I'm sorry, you have to change <laughs> your appointment because uh, one of our, us want to go on holiday. Yeah. Uh, but we do not do often holidays. Not really often. No. no we it? use our off days to work <laughs> <laughs> as uh, educators around Germany. So. Yeah. yeah, and you touched on that earlier. Do you guys, um, you're into educating other barbers or the industry? Yeah, we're in the education team of wall. Yeah. Wall clippers. Two of eight barbers in Germany? Yeah, two of six. Six? Yeah. Ah, nice. Six uh, people out there in the team. We're two of them and um, also doing our own classes around Germany. Sometimes there's a guy who train he's a trainer and 20 others who want to learn. And when we do workshops in our shop, we do it one to one or one to two. So one trainer, max two people, uh, train max two people. And um, I think it's the best way to learn another style because uh, everybody can cut hair who comes here, but they want to learn a new style to cut. And that's not difficult when you have enough time for this client. And that's why we do it here. It's a little bit we don't, higher price. We don't train trainees. Yeah, yeah. We, we tra only we, train hairdressers. We train hairdressers. No guys who never cut hair before. Yeah. Only haircutters. Uh, so hairdresser. Pro classes. Yeah. 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 Only the style. We train. We train all this only the style. And is this something that's new to Germany? Uh, barber, like, when is it? When does this? When did this take off that a lot of the men are now going to barber shops? Five years ago. With five? Yeah. And it's, and it's steadily growing? 
Yeah. Yeah. But the hype is off. The big hype yeah. when every day comes a film crew or a radio guy or a guy the from a shows, newspaper. The shows, yeah. yeah, the most. Some of them are closed now. Yeah. Because they, uh, they thought they can earn a lot of money. Only uh, write in barbershop on their... Window. A barber pole in the front and say, well, hey, we have a barbershop. So, uh, but it doesn't work. Well, there's so much to it, Barber. It's, it's, it's not just cutting the hair. It's not just being nice. It's You have to love it. Yeah. yeah. You have to live it. And you have to have a girl or a, a woman, a woman uh, who's accepted in this. Because we're a lot of hours here. Yeah, Most lot of, of days, hours. 12 hours, 13 hours. Yeah. So, if you got a girlfriend, uh, she have to accept it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Chin chin's better. Well, thanks for having me. Thanks for having us here today. It was awesome Thank you. you guys. For being here. Yeah. Thank thanks you. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Your shop's amazing. You know, this is uh, definitely what barbering is. And talking to you, it's a true barber shop. You know, this is. Thanks. This is. This is what guys want. Amazing. You know, Thanks a yeah. lot. Yeah. Thanks for those words. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a handmade machine oh, from yeah. Jägermeister. They, yeah. they handmade cool machine. give it to an artist and said, make a barbershop. Make machine. the barbershop great again. Make the barbershop great again, yeah.